Hello, and here we are at our last call in Gloucester, the beautiful Gloucester Cathedral. But first let's have a bit of fun. A trivia question is what huge blockbuster movie was shot inside Gloucester Cathedral? And uh, the answer is at the end of this video. So let's get started on the history then. There's actually been a building on this site since 679 AD. But, but this was lost in time. And the church that you can see today was built in 1089. This was an idea of a monk of the Benedictine community. As at that time it was an abbey. Once we go inside you will see some pillars. And they're actually reddish in colour at the bottom. This is from the 1122 when the wooden roof burnt down and fell in. This was then redone in stone. The vaults on the church was built in 1242 during the reign of Henry III. He was crowned in Gloucester Cathedral, aged nine. He is actually the only king in history that was not crowned in Westminster Abbey. The church is Norman in origin of the Gothic style of 1350. The cloister is the oldest cloister or hallway in the world. The main tower was built from 1451 to 1457. It is 225 feet high, which is nearly 69 meters. In the 15th century, the south side was in danger of falling down, so they had to prop it up with butterfly traces and flying buttresses. So let's go inside and see this magnificent building. Those stained glass windows look absolutely gorgeous. And there is various stained glass windows 
around this place. But just to look at that, the size is just amazing. It was actually in 1541, on the 3rd of September, the Abbey changed the name from an Abbey to the Cathedral. This created one of the largest ecclesiastical cathedrals in England. But it, it wasn't without some problems in its history. It's actually survived two attempts to demolish it. One was Henry VIII's dissolution of the monasteries, when he knocked down lots of monasteries. But when they found that Hen Edward I was buried here, they decided to leave it. There was a second attempt in 1656. They started to demolish parts of the building, like the sister church and the little cloister. But a donation arrived at the church to save the rest of the building which I think is really fortunate that we can have this building today. Isn't it just beautiful? All the little chapels are. We're now going up to the Tribune Gallery and this gives you a beautiful view from a high up to look down at the wonderful work on the floor and also on the amazing ceiling as well. So if you're coming to Gloucester any time, I certainly recommend you come and visit Gloucester Cathedral. And they say there is three things that each person must see on their visit. One is the St. Oswick Prince, who died in 729, who was the founder of the original Minster. Also, you've just seen, we just passed Edward II's statue. He was the last of the Plantagenets and the first king to hold a royal orb. <clears throat> Finally, there's the stained glass windows, which I've mentioned. The 14th century great window 
uh, an amazing stained glass and there was also one added in the 20th century which is the Christopher Wall stained glass these both are absolutely amazing There we have the choir stores and the high altar. Beautiful. And if you've enjoyed our visit here today, please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave us a comment below. The answer to our query at the beginning was Harry Potter was filmed inside Gloucester Cathedral thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on another video from Lighthouse Travels bye for now